Hello, my name is Christian Rehm, and I am a senior in Flight Operations Pathway student at the Alliance Academy for Innovation. I am here today with industry professionals from the Law and Public Safety Pathway. This is another trade talk as part of our ongoing series of learning from business and industry in our community. We, as middle and high school students, have, a very, have very important decisions to make around high school career pathways, and as we begin thinking about life after graduation, we hope these trade talks will help our students and families have these discussions at home. Your counselors can also help you in identifying courses that fit into your career aspirations. Before we get started, I'd like to ask each panelist to introduce themselves, telling us your name, company, and your position there. Dr. Cardella? Uh, good morning. I'm Dr. Nick Cardella with the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I started my career back a long time ago, 1980, back in South Florida, where the sheriff asked me to come join his team. Uh, I've, I've been working with uh, both at private practice and in, in crime scenes for the last uh, 30 years. Okay, I'm Jeff Bagley. I'm the uh, Chief Judge of the Superior Court of Forsyth County and have been in that position since uh, 2003. And um, I am a general jurisdiction trial judge. My name is Nina Sixena, and I'm an associate at uh, Patterson Moore Butler. That I recently started there, but I've been practicing law for the past seven years. I'm Penny Penn. I'm the district attorney here in Forsyth County. The district attorney's office is responsible for the prosecution of felony crimes that are committed in Forsyth County. Again, we thank you for being with us today. So now we will jump right into our questions recently submitted by our high school students. I'll start with Dr. Nick Cardella. What motivated you to go into the field of law? Well, when I was in practice again in South Florida, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Broward County Sheriff was a patient of mine, and he came in the office and asked me uh, if I would be interested in helping out with crime scenes, and I said I would, so he said he would send me to the police academy. We went to the academy in, in South Florida in 1983. Uh, I continued on working for him uh, doing crime scenes until 1990 when we, uh, I got married and uh, decided to stay home more um, uh, after practice, and uh, we moved to... Uh, we moved to Atlanta in 1995, and I went, went back to the academy here and started practicing with the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I now handle a lot of interns now. I handle interns from high school and colleges and try to guide them in their career paths into, uh, into law or policing. Okay. Uh, I, was, uh, I had graduated college. I was working as an engineer, and uh, I had attended a meeting, uh, a zoning meeting, and I had uh, listened to a lawyer speak, and I thought, you know, I can do that. I can do this public speaking thing. And uh, so I, that was the motivating factor for me to look into the field of law and uh, decide to go into that, uh, into that field. Um, I kind of always knew that I wanted to go more into the legal arena just because my parents had always told me I'm a good debater. Um, so I kind of focused my classes from the get-go to be able to be where I am today. When I graduated from college, I had no idea what it was that I wanted to do or was going to do, but thought I would probably uh, have to go back to school to do it. I just did not want to do it immediately after college. It was my second year out of college that I uh, began working in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill for a member of Congress. And uh, you can't turn around there without running into a lawyer. And I realized uh, that um, if I were an, an attorney, that that gave me a lot um, of options in addition to um, just the usual practice of law. Uh, and at the time was very interested in, in politics and so decided then to go to law school. What classes would you recommend students take in high school that would help them have a chance at going into the field of law? Well, we handle the interns again from high schools and colleges and I try to guide them to take a career which they are find an interest in. Uh, they know that I am a forensic dentist so they try to always ask me questions about forensics and I do teach forensics. And I've motivated quite a few individuals to move on to uh, postgraduate education into forensics. Uh, they sure had to write four recommendations to postgraduate schools, and it was uh, quite rewarding on my part. 
I love seeing students take new classes they enjoy doing and uh, become participants in, in the field that I'm enjoying. I would say take as many AP classes as you can and do well in them because you want to get into a really good college um, and have a, a good college career. All these, all these build upon uh, getting into a good law school, being able to, to in, enter law school. So yeah, I think uh, AP classes would be the best. Definitely the AP classes that Judge Bagley said. And I would also look at some of the other classes that might give you a step footing into maybe some of the le legal jargon as based in maybe business classes that probably teach about contracts and things of that nature and maybe advanced also your social studies or poli-sci classes. I would recommend a, a diverse range of classes so that you have a good basic knowledge of uh, various subjects and also it helps you to get some idea perhaps of a specific area of practice that you might want to um, get into. I would also recommend classes in, in which you're going to write, uh, that you learn to uh, some good solid writing skills and also in which there's analysis uh, that's involved in the subjects. And describe your daily interactions with people. Do you work in groups or in your, on your own daily? Uh, what jobs do you do? And how do your interactions with others affect your job? Well, right now, because of the pandemic, our, our internship program has been suspended. Um, hopefully, we'll get started again in January. Right now, I'm working a lot with the volunteers and uh, people who want to help and, and volunteer with the sheriff's office uh, in a non-paying capacity. So it's very nice to have these people volunteer their time. Uh, I believe now we have somewhere about 160 volunteers right now working in the sheriff's office. I started a program about two years ago called CHIPS, Citizens Helping and Policing, where these individuals are sp specifically trained. They're not police officers, don't carry a weapon, but they will help out with uh, traffic control, helping uh, relieve deputies to, to facilitate their job. I work with uh, a number of people, primarily my, my uh, judicial assistant, who takes care of the uh, phone calls that come in, all the uh, filing, the uh, clerical work with our office. Uh, she, well, I work very closely with her. I uh, work very closely with my staff attorney who does the research and writing in my office uh, while I'm on the bench. Um, I work closely with the, our court administrator who, does, uh, who helps with the administration of the courts. Um, and uh, I really don't work well. Sometimes work in groups with when I have meetings with my staff. We can we work in groups then. Um, I pri uh, primarily work with um, one of the partners at the firm, who gives me my assignments. And at that point, I kind of either work with our paralegal or work independently to get my assignments done. Um, pretty much um, on a daily basis. I oversee a staff of 26 people, including um, prosecutors, investigators, victim advocates, and, and support staff. So I see people every day, throughout the day, just by going to the office. Um, days that I go to court, uh, of course, I'm going to be around other people, and there are plenty of times when uh, I get to be in my office just working alone by myself, uh, too, on uh, various uh, projects. Very nice. Um, what skills do students need to have, what skills do students need to have in order to do your job? What do they need to be good at, and what sort of education beyond high school do they need to have for this job? Well, in policing, uh, the most critical aspect, I think, of any kind of police officer is being compassionate um, and understand people have certain needs and, and desires and certain reasons why things are performed. Uh, as far as professional, the uh, forensic side, obviously they need to have a, a medical education, but that's advanced education after, after college. Um, I think they find it, the medical field very re rewarding and, and uh, forensics extre extremely rewarding. Uh, you need to be a, a people person, someone who can interact well with people, um, and um, 
as far as the education beyond high school, uh, you need, as I said earlier, you need to uh, choose a good college and you have to do well in college uh, and, and do well on the LSAT to be able to get into a good law school. So um, that's what you're going to need. I think in this field you also need to have really good listening skills, um, be able to speak with your clients and understand what issues and problems that they're facing right now in their life at that moment. Um, I think also being empathetic towards your clients and having great communication skills as well. Generally, lawyers need to be able to think critically so that they uh, need to engage in analysis of whatever uh, the issue is before them. They have to be able to write. Um, specifically, prosecutors need to be able to communicate um, since they're going to be appearing in court a lot and they also have to know the law. Very nice. Well, thank you so much. I know our conversation was quick, but on behalf of myself and all of our CTAE education students countywide, I thank you for your valuable advice in helping middle school students decide on which pathway to pursue in high school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.